this person is really going back and forth, visualizing what the future would look like with you and what the future would look like without you. They may have other options or opportunities and just choices moving forward. Like it may be other romantic opportunities, not saying there's necessarily a third party going on, but if it comes out, I'll show you. But it seems like they're just kind of, they're weighing all of their options and deciding what direction to go. Where do I want to take this relationship? You know, but the nine of cups was showing. It showed up again. It came out like three times in the pre-shuffle, like, and there's the Ace of Cups, that's the Ten of Cups. So what is the, it feels like there's one cup that's missing. Like it's not missing, but it's missing, at least in this person's eyes. And I'm gonna find out what it is right now. But this is showing me like a visualization of them like wanting to dive off. And there's a parachute, so there is safety, but they're still a little bit afraid. And like, this is getting into a committed relationship with you. That's what it is. They're, they could be afraid of commitment. They could be afraid of, I'm seeing marriage too, specifically. They might even be somebody who likes their own space. And so they're like, I don't want, I don't want to like bother you or push you away by asking for my own space. One, two, three, what does that mean? Like me, for example, like I don't really want to live with a romantic partner. You know, but a lot of people, like, they want that specifically. Like, the Empress is on the table and how they're viewing you? No, I don't know. That That's a pretty high light to view somebody in. I think you tick all of their boxes. They're just afraid to, it's like they're afraid to make a fool of themselves. This is, they're viewing you as somebody that they manifested. So what is the issue here and what is the one missing cup? The El Diablo, of course. So this devil energy could be like fear of failure, fear of them not being good enough. Uh, what is this? Just tell me straight up, what is this devil here? So we can like, can we squash it? The three of cups, is this drinking? This to me tells me there is something that they don't want to give up that's attached to their single life. This could be going out with their friends whenever they want to. This could be... Yeah, this could be picking up lovers whenever they want to, two, two, two. So although they are viewing you as the empress, uh, the knight of wands next to this m m could be like sexual. Like if they don't have to commit, but they can still like be physical with you. I see them not really wanting to commit. And that's the thing that's preventing this from being like a committed relationship is they don't really, they don't have to. So they're getting a lot of benefits from you without having to, to commit. So uh, if I were you, I would cut this person off physically. I get until they're in the committed relationship that you want, not like an ultimatum, but more like a boundary on the self. So let's, let's change this to be a boundary on the self. Like I'm not going to sleep with people that are sleeping with other people. I'm not going to sleep with people that are, you know, not in a committed relationship with me. You know, you create whatever your boundaries are. Okay. But you know, if you're being physically intimate with this person already without, you know, without the title or you're giving them some sort of like husband or wife treatment and you guys are in a situation, right? Like it's like you're picking up some dude's kids and you're not even his girlfriend yet or vice versa, right? Like, no, that's the sort, that's the sort of thing I'm talking about here because I am getting the third parties are coming up now towards the end. This to me feels like I want to keep my options open because I can. 